first thing is the whole rocker arm assembly can come off and those are the 916s. one had the stud come out don't know if the studs are supposed to or not I don't well these are bolts so they have to come out right speaking of bolts where are those that goes one two three yeah okay um, yeah it's a pain that those things don't hold themselves together so we have to watch out for that and of course keep them the way they go too so we need a safe place to set those that they're not going to get bumped until we clean them later on. <clears throat> um. together as you're doing it. Oh boy. Now which way you hold that needs to turn around. This is the left end of it. Or rather I guess which way is that showing? The ports are on that side so it goes the same for it to be the same way as the tractor it goes this way. So the way you got to work. on there. Let's bring the rest of the fasteners and stuff. That one stud's going to be a pain in the ass. We might just fill it. This goes with the stud. Concerned about that and that one. So I'm probably going to do those ones first. That's, uh, I shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, I feel the rest of them. Oh, I can kind of on that one and that one and that one. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be like that. They should be hard to push. Yeah, the valve spring's broke, look over here. See the other end of it there? Yeah. And this is the other broken ed edge of it. So, two broken valve springs. The question is, how do you break valve springs? You get the string on your head. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so if we can hold the valve on this one, I could basically take it apart by hand because the springs broke. Uh, so probably this way. That's the better way. Alright. So I'm going to get you to hold the valve closed, I guess. Which shouldn't take too much force based on We're the doing this one here. Yeah, just try and push that one closed. I'm gonna try and push this one down. 
Okay, maybe it's not going to be as easy as I was thinking. Okay, let's just use the compressor. That's why I have it. Okay, so now we have to know what size. Buttons. Decent, but we can probably go with the blue. Yeah, that's black as well. That matters. It's going to be dirty anyways. For all of them? Yeah, I think so. Not for that one so much. For those ones that work, so I need a smaller it's... one for the ones that are the weird ones. And so based on the depth of this thing... Probably need the longer screw. I'm just assuming... This goes against the valve. Okay, and this goes on here. Yeah. I don't want that as close to the middle as we can get. Actually, we go more on this one still. Close to the middle as we can get. <laughs> She was bound sideways from the... Okay, can you grab that little keeper underneath where your screwdriver is? Use the magnetic tip. See it? Underneath? In there. Underneath it all the time. All right, well, easy, 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 easy. Don't drop it. Okay. Oh, frick. I wish that would stay in there. I was wondering why it was so hard to move, and it's because it was frickin' bound. Not supposed to be like that. That's what happens when you got a broken valve spring, I guess. I'm surprised you're only down one cylinder when you have two broken. It, well, like you had said, maybe it wasn't running on four properly at all. There she is, folks. Down a bit. That is that 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 is the top of the valve spring. Which is not supposed to be like that. And this is, what is the rest left. of the broken valve spring that is not supposed to be like that. So, and I gotta keep straight all the broken parts where the top is, so that's fine like that. And then, oh, valve comes straight out. Lots of carbon on it. And, and soaked uh, with oil. Bring it down. Soaked with oil, of course. There you go, you're in the frame now. But the bigger thing I was looking at was this. Wow. Yeah, that shouldn't be like that. How does she ever seal like that? So I guess it needs a new what valve is, seal. What is that from? Uh, well, it doesn't have seals, I don't think. They're what they call valve guides. So I don't know if they're replaceable or what the deal is, but that is definitely no good. So we'll just leave that in there for now, I guess. Let's do the other catastrophic failure one first, in case it kills us with the shards. We should probably be wearing safety glasses. I'm gonna go get my safety glasses. <laughs> if the other one's gonna spring apart like that one did, yeah. Okay, so on to the other one that's got a broken spring, also an exhaust valve, of course. Oh, geez, I hate that. Okay. 
I'm gonna be a little more proactive this time. You're good. Okay, hold that thought now. What's that for? Persuasion. No, if you put tension on something, and then apply the gentlest percussive impact, you break free. Now that's a piece of cake to get off. Okay, sir, start fishing your keepers out of there. You see it? Yeah, there's one. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Oh, there's two. Cool. So yeah, I should have just done that on the first one. Put a little bit of tension on it and then give it a little tap and boing. She's off. Oh, there is. Okay, no, it's steel. I was gonna say, there's a valve seal. I don't think these ones have proper rubber valve seals like most engines do now. Um, so the only way to seal is for the tolerance between the valve stem and the valve guide to be very, very small. And there's the other broken one. You can't see if we're seeing. Right there. That's the top surface that's supposed to be against here. So that is number uh, Three. two. Because this is the front oh, of the okay. engine, right? So With two the, exhaust. Yeah. Two exhaust and four exhaust springs were broken. Yeah, it's supposedly cylinder four was still running. I, based on this heat and the spark plug, yeah, one, three, and four were always running. Uh, two only ran some of the time. Wow. Dirty. Look at the slime. Oh my goodness. That'd be why she burns so much oil, because the oil goes right down the valve stem and into the cylinder. Wow, look at the carbon build up on that. Yeah, you're in the frame. I don't know if it's focusing on it or not, but there's lots of carbon on there. We'll clean all that up before it goes back together. All it needs is some shallow V power. <laughs> That'll clean it right up. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got two more that need the narrow cup. And then we'll go on to eek. We'll go on to the bigger ones. Wow, this, this, <laughs> that was about to go through the spring. <sighs> it's supposed to have, and again, I don't have it, but this is the inner part. It's supposed to have the outer part, which I think has disintegrated to nothing. So that's good. That's this end down here. Yeah. The keepers for it, yeah, keep all those together. Sounds like an ATV. Yeah, or a dirt bike or something, yeah. Okay, so that's all the Mickey Mouse ones. Lots of carbon buildup on the cylinder side, but that makes perfect sense. probably ran on leaded gas for the first time. Oh, Could be. That's probably what it's supposed to have is leaded, considering the age. Mm -hmm. So it should probably have a lead substitute in it, but I haven't been doing it. Oh, for frick's sake. Need a bigger bench. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Need a bigger everything. <laughs> I'd be a little careful with that one.
Oh, well, don't do that. I'm glad where we're working you can't uh, lose anything because you got a nice bare clean concrete floor versus like the grass. Yes. I've done so many jobs on the grass and that's how you lose the parts. It's by the parts falling on the grass. Huh? It's with the parts falling on the grass. The grass. Even if the grass is short. But normally the grass is long. You still lose the parts in the grass. You better get that off there before it... Before it springs across the lawn and we lose the keepers. I guess you've got the keepers, so don't have to worry about that. I got the stuff. Ta-da! Now we have four intake valves that won't come out because they have some kind of a rubber seal on them. So, that was where the fun begins. Oh, it's like an O-ring or something. Um, so they only have seals on the intake valves. And the intake valves have way less side to side play than the exhaust valves do, which makes sense. But that is why we have liquid oil coming out of the exhaust and a lot of blue too. So I think now I need the tiny screwdriver, DOS case. Yeah, it's just a seal. So there is valve seals on this. Just, just on the intake valves, apparently. Come on. Come on. So, intake. But now, we take the intake valves out. And look at the difference. The difference experience makes. Not too bad. Very, very little carbon on them, yeah. So. I hope that wasn't for me, maybe it was. Hmm. Anywho. Now we should be all able to. Oh. which are not that old. So we're just gonna quickly do that and that'll be it. So for that. Wow. So the camera that can you see that? <laughs> can you see that electrode there? That probably wasn't even that's running. uh that's number four so it can't have been running because it has carbon between the electrode and the and the post so no so the far your end is number one this front right yeah next we're gonna put this thing in a bath The cylinder head is going into the bath. Into the bathtub. Destiny. So now we actually need some our saw. That's that big 20 meter jump. <laughs> it is poison and it's viable. Mm -hmm. Good combination, right? Very tasty. Tasty.
that's it. Jeez, I thought I would have had a seal on it. Probably gonna splat it everywhere. Yeah, like that. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing. the valve guides or if we have to try and do that first for the ones that need to be done or can be done. Um, and if it needs new valve seats, I think we probably would have to do that first and then you send it to get it ground so that the valve matches the seat perfectly. And then we still have to probably lap all the valves to make sure that's a 100% seal. Based on what we took apart, it's not bad, but probably with the good valve guides and proper valve springs, it probably would have been just fine. So that's the plan. We'll leave that for now. We're gonna wrap up here for today. And then I get the fun of trying to get the oil pan off by myself tomorrow, so. I won't get to see how that turns out until I get the video files myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do some more research and hopefully get a call back from my tractor guy to say, hey, you have to do this. So we'll definitely end the video here at this point. So if you liked it, drop a like, leave a comment. It'll be a little too late for you to suggest to us how to do it because by the time this comes out, the job's going to be done. Gonna be done. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, if you want to see more farm equipment work on our channel though, uh, Greg has lots of attachments for the tractor. Uh, we could make a video just on him running around using the bush hog or anything if you guys want to see that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. We want to get to a thousand as soon as possible. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.